please welcome to the podium the President of the United States, Andrew Johnson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great grief we meet here today, mourning the life and legacy of our leader, the man who guides us through the violence that ravaged our nation, Abraham Lincoln. As you may well know, this act of evil has laid yet another wound on a country scarred by the hell that is war. Many lives have been lost in recent times, none more influential than that of our former president, though each creating a searing pain in the hearts of our people. It is with great reluctance that I take this position of president, knowing well and true that I am not the man intended to hold this prestigious office. I feel as if I am not worthy of it, not of the same caliber of man of those who have held it before me. However, ladies and gentlemen, I will do everything in my power to govern this nation with nothing but the best intentions. Our nation is strong, and we will rebuild to be stronger than we ever have been before. The work of Lincoln will continue for, for our agenda now will be continued to reconstruct our southern counterparts with no vengeance in our hearts. We must allow them to rejoin the Union with no unjust punishment or prejudice. The healing of our land is only just beginning. Every wound will be tended and every soul mourned. We will unite under one flag once again. I ask for support from every American. I will perform my duties to my highest capability, governing with just principles with what is right for all in the land. It is my hope that all of you who love your country will aid me in completing a task that has been thrust into my unexpecting arms, the task of uniting our nation again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Catherine Wright, representing the New York Herald. Mr. President, in the past you held slaves. How do you plan on reuniting the North and the South if you were part of the original problem? Well, since that time, I have come to understand the humanity of those who had once been enslaved, and I understand that their value to our country as humans and as citizens to be protected. Uh, next question. Uh, Helen. Thank you, Mr. President. Helen Hollis. Do you plan to continue the actions that were already in motion from former President Abraham Lincoln in regards to the Union of Korea? Uh, yes, yes we do, because the immense benefits that come from the Bureau in educating those former slaves and make, turning them into citizens that will be um, able to help our nation in a lot of ways, whether it be um, eventually owning land or becoming uh, powerful people here in the state. such little integrity to be expected to reconstruct our nation. Uh, next question, please. Um, and Roberta. Thank you, Mr. President. Roberta E. Lee, Charleston Career, South Carolina. On behalf of America's Great South, how will your plan of reconstruction affect the southern states? Well, our reconstruction plan is to allow the South back into the Union if they follow certain guidelines that will set in place. Uh, as Mr. Lincoln had proposed, we want to have 10% of the people in the nation, or in the, each state, sign a loyalty oath to allow them back in the union. Also, on top of that, I would like to have each Confederate leader have no rights to hold an office or even vote. So, they must, uh, they must, every citizen, hopefully, will be on board. Next question. Uh, sir, my sources tell me that you plan to hold a private execution of all Confederate leaders who fled the country fleeing to Mexico. Is this true? This is not true. This is, I just, the plan is to strip them of certain rights, not to kill them. Um, next question, please. Uh, no. Uh, my sources also say that John Wilkes Booth was seen leaving Washington Hotel seven hours before the shooting, which happened to be the very hotel that you took rest in that evening. Any comment? This is really a quick sense. And my loyalty to this country will not be questioned. To insinuate that I had anything to do with the death of my friend and your former president is preposterous. And it's 